I'm here today to talk about my past with James Charles. To start off, I've been anonymously mentioned in two separate videos, one being the Bi Sister Tati video, and the other being the Nikita Dragon X's video. But today I'm really only going to focus on the Tati video. So in Tati's video, she said she was disgusted by James' actions towards me, the waiter, in a restaurant in Seattle. So I'm about to tell my story, um, including all the details and direct messages between me and James. To start off, him and about 32 other people all came into the fancy restaurant that I was working in, and they were all there for Tati's birthday. And Tati and her husband came in and they helped set up the big table and everything, so we knew that they were coming. And at that time, I really didn't know who James Charles was. I recognized his face, but I didn't know who he was. So when he came in with everyone, it was kind of a big surprise. So when he came into the restaurant, I noticed him and his kind of entourage with Jeffree Star, him. So Je Jeffree Star, James Charles, and all of Tati's family was there at my restaurant. And throughout the night, James and his friend and everyone, they just kept looking at me, but especially James. And he was looking at me. Later on that night, he started talking to the other employees about me, asking me if I, if I had a Valentine. Cause this, is, this was on Valentine's Day. And he kept asking me, if, asking the waiters if I was single and that they thought I was very attractive. Or he especially thought that I was very attractive and he wanted to get my phone number and all that. But the wait staff at my restaurant didn't let that happen. He left and it kind of just went untalked about. The next day, my sister convinced me to direct message James Charles. And I did. We can throw the screenshot up here somewhere in the post. I said, LOL, it's Sam the buster from John Howie. John Howie is the restaurant that we worked at. He replied with OMFG and then I replied with LMAO. Then he asked me how I was, and then he, you can kind of read here, he's like, sorry about last night, you're very attractive. And then I responded with, it's all good, very flattering actually. Then he said, love that, did not know you were 19, oh my god, I am too. We proceeded to talk for a while, it was his last night in Seattle, he actually invited me out to his hotel. At that time, I was bi curious. I had never done anything with a guy before, and I was curious. Later that night, he invited me out to his hotel room. When I got there, in the video, he said I was brought up by four security guards, but in reality, I was brought up by one concierge. But besides that, I get to the hotel room, we say hi, it's all fine. We end up watching a movie, and after that movie, he asked to kiss me. And I was very nervous, because I had never done anything with a guy, and I was bi curious, so I said yes. And we ended up making out for around an hour, and if I'm being honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much tongue. Yeah, <laughs> but besides that, so he didn't want me to leave from the hotel room. And he kept telling me to stay, like, please stay, please stay, don't leave me. All this and that, but I really wanted to go home. So I left. And throughout the following weeks, we kept in contact. And my birthday was coming up on the 22nd and he wanted to fly me out to LA. And that kind of freaked me out because at that point I, th I was pretty sure I was straight. So I told him in a long text message that I am straight and that he, if he were to fly me out, I wouldn't think it was right if I wasn't attracted to him. But if he still wanted to fly me out as friends, I gave that as an option to him. So he, declined my offer and canceled the flight. And that's when he got really sad and emotionally took to, to social media. And his response to me was that he thought, he didn't think that I was straight. He told me, you're not straight. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll throw up the, he DM conversation right right here, and we kind of stopped talking after that for a little bit, and then he came back to me. He asked me for closure, 
after he called me for the clo closure conversation, he uh, he offered to fly me out again, and I declined. I didn't want to use him for his money or his fame. I felt that that was wrong, and that's what everyone was telling me that it was just it would have been wrong to go out there if I wasn't actually feeling the same way that he was. So I declined for the second time the trip to LA. He still went on to say he thought I was bisexual or gay, and attracted to him when I had told him different. That pretty much went on for a long time until we kind of ended it at I'm legitimately not feeling anything, please stop talking to me, this and that. So in this screenshot, it shows him telling me how I felt, and luckily I screenshotted it because later on he went on to delete and unsend those messages, knowing he was in the wrong and he was guilty, so those messages in the live conversation aren't there anymore. Not only was he telling me how I felt, telling me that I was bisexual, but he was also, at the same time, talking to Gage. And I found this out after Gage released his video explaining his side of the story with James. And then I was just kind of, I was just done with him. I didn't want to do anything, have anything to do with him after that, after finding out that he was kind of playing two guys, two straight guys, at the same time. So, we have footage of him admitting to it on FaceTime that he was, in fact, talking to me and Gage at the same time. Sure, what's up? Um, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So, I just kind of watched the, like, Gage thing. Yeah. And it kind of, I kind of, like, in all honesty, I think you were talking to him at the same time you were talking to me. Yeah, we were. It's like, why do you care? It's just, I mean, how would you feel if I was talking to and hanging out with someone else while you were talking to me, right? Like, that's... You probably were. I wasn't. Well, thank you for listening to my side of the story and to hear what I had to say about James Charles. Uh, this isn't intended for me to get clout from this video. I don't really care, to be honest. I just wanted to kind of share my side of the story now that everyone's kind of opening up. And get some more information to uh, everyone. So, thank you for listening. Yeah, this is Sam.